Hey there, welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, like always, I appreciate swinging by and watching a review. Uh, just like every time, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Check me out on social media. Tonight, I'm going to take a look at one out of Brasserie de Chouf. I believe that's how you pronounce this. Uh, this here is their uh, Cherry Chouf. This here is a uh, Belgian fruit beer. Cherry, obviously. Coming in at 8% uh, alcohol by volume. So let's get a look at this artwork. You see the gnomes? The gnomes there picking up some cherries. They got the little basket on their back there. They're putting it in. And again, this is 8% uh, ABV. If I can uh, find an IBU, um, I will have it listed down there like always. So artwork, definitely cool. You know, it's got the gnomes on there. Cherries. It's got a cool bottle cap. That's pretty much exactly the same as the uh, bottle label here. The artwork on the bottle label. It uh, doesn't say a whole lot else about it. This is a 11.2 ounce um, bottle here. And it says, I guess it's good by, I don't know, 11, 20, 21, I guess. That's what it, right there. Uh, I did pick this up at the uh, Jungle Gems uh, Market in Cincinnati, Ohio. So as far as this artwork, I dig it, man. I dig that. I'm actually gonna give that about a, a four out of five uh, on the artwork there. Definitely pretty cool there. So let me get a bottle cap here. I'm assuming it's probably not a twist off. Let's get a pour on this thing here. So uh, kind of like a cola, honestly. Pouring out kind of like a cola. Should have no problem getting everything in this uh, glass here. Set that up there. So you guys can see that. Get rid of this bottle cap. My collection over there. So, a good amount of carbonation. You know what? It looks just like a slight pinkish head or a tint to this a head on there. It's about a finger and a half. A lot of large fisheye bubbles popping in there, but there's still a thickness to the head as well. Uh, it's creating some nice lacing, but then again, it's still there. It doesn't look like it's uh, wearing out too rapidly either. A lot of retention there on that thing. And just a, uh, like a ambery cola look to this is kind of what it, what it uh, poured as. Nice, so you got this nice like reddish tint in there. Very nice. As far as aroma... Ooh, like a sweet cherry. Man. It does give me this a mild cherry Coke, like a cherry cola vibe. Interesting. So, sweet candied cherryness to this. Maybe... A little bit of an earthy graininess to this as well, but uh, that's it there. Uh, we're down to maybe a, a just over, just under a finger ahead left on that. So hey, let's get a drink on this thing. Wow, that's a crazy taste. So, man, this one here is taking me a second to process. Sweet, cherry, I kind of thought it'd be a little bit more tart or sour than it is. Very much a syrupy cherry sweetness to this. This is 8% alcohol by volume. I don't pick up any of that alcohol. Definitely on the higher side um, of a medium bodied beer. Um, just approaching a full body beer to me, but not quite there. Just definitely it has that chewy mouthfeel to it. I don't pick up any any Belgian, any wheat, any mulch or anything in here. 
just a very sweet, syrupy, uh, cherry um, flavor to this. That's kind of what it is. If somebody gave me this and, and had me drink it, I definitely wouldn't think it was a beer. I probably wouldn't know what the heck I was drinking. Maybe some type of juice. Um, it's what I think I'd probably be drinking. But man, that is a nice, nice cherryness to this. Um, could I drink more than one of these in a, in a session, in a setting? No. No, it uh, be, would be way too sweet. Um, is it a nice, uh, you know, just a nice um, drink, a uh, nice beer to have, a drink to have, um, just chilling out? Yeah, it's very good. Got some nice lacing still in there. Um, wow, this is pretty good. As far as scoring this, uh, man, you know what? I'm a little confused on this thing here. Um, would I drink it again? Yeah, I'd drink it again. Um, close to a 4.25. I think I, I'm just going to punch it in at a 4.25 out of 5 on this. I do recommend this. Um, if you like sweeter cherry beers, or if you just want something different, and you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend you do that. Um, it's something definitely uh, unique for me anyway. Um, and very enjoyable, honestly. I, I kind of like this uh, quite a bit. So, um, 4.25 out of 5, uh, no doubt. Just one, it kind of, very uh, perplexed, kind of took me by surprise, this here taste. I was not expecting this. Um, so, it took me a little bit to process this, to come up with the description, how I want to describe this, because it's just a very, very uh, unique um, flavor to this, uh, everything about this. So, hey, anyhow, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Like I said earlier, check me out on social media. Hit that notification bell down below.